Hello, I'm Paul, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Northern Virginia. Sometimes customers ask me to help them troubleshoot access denied or unauthorized errors on the AWS management console because they are unsure which operation is being denied. Today, I'll demonstrate two ways to find this information, one using Amazon Athena and the other by searching AWS CloudTrail event history using the AWS command line interface. Let's get started. For this to work, you'll need to have a CloudTrail trail set up to log API actions for the region before the event is created. After logging into the AWS Management Console, navigate to the CloudTrail Console. Choose Trails from the Navigation pane. Note the Amazon Simple Storage Service bucket name. In the Navigation pane, choose Event History. Choose Run Advanced Queries in Amazon Athena. In the Create a Table in Amazon Athena window, open the Storage Location menu and then choose the S3 bucket with the CloudTrail log files. Choose Create Table. Choose Go to Athena. To run the query, Copy in the example Athena query provided in the article. Update the table entry to match the one that you've just created. Update the timestamps. Remember, they're in UTC time zone by default. It's a best practice to use a smaller window if possible. Also note that it usually takes about 15 minutes before events are available in a CloudTrail trail. Update the user identity ARN with the ARN of the user or role. Choose Run Query. The results the table displays the errors for the time period. If you're not sure about the specific user that's triggering the error or you receive no results, then remove the line limiting the user identity ARN. Finally, to view all errors and not just access denied or unauthorized errors, remove the following line as shown. The second method uses CloudTrail event history with the AWS CLI. Use this method if you can't use Athena. Be sure that you have the AWS CLI as well as a JSON processor installed and configured. Note that because command line queries CloudTrail directly, you can see results only from the last 90 days. Also, you can query only one region at a time as compared to the Athena query that can query a consolidated trail. Copy the example command from the article and paste it into your Linux Mac terminal or command line session. Update the time period as appropriate. As with Athena, smaller is better and events usually take 15 minutes to become available in CloudTrail events history. Update the user identity ARN. The results are similar to those using Athena. If you want to find this information for all users, then remove the information about the ARN and run the command again. To find all errors, Remove the following line and run again. Let me take a moment to discuss the results. In our example, we can see two entries, both relating to the Lookup Events API for CloudTrail. However, one entry indicates that the error was a result of an explicit deny. The other entry does not. In AWS Identity and Access Management, the default permission is to deny an action. This means that unless there isn't an explicit allow statement, the request is denied implicitly. To resolve this issue, check that the principal is explicitly granted permission through either an identity or resource-based IAM policy. If this was already configured, check that there aren't any policies in place that limit the maximum scope of permissions for the principal. These limits might be enforced by permissions boundaries on the user or role, or 
and AWS Organizations SCP on the account. A request can be explicitly denied if any policy evaluation returns a deny result. Remember that with IAM, a single deny immediately halts policy evaluation and overrules any allows that came before. Policies that IAM evaluates and therefore might result in deny responses are identity policies, resource-based policies, AWS organizations, SCPs, IAM permissions boundaries, and session policies. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS. Yeah.